Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and thank you so much for joining me this week. So I've had some questions about how I actually screen record and how I get this little person of me um, recorded here. So I'm going to just be uh, showing you how to screen record so that there's a little picture of you. Uh, I'm using Zoom at the moment to record because I think it much easier. So if you're interested in this topic, then please keep on watching. Okay, so I'm going to just show you how I screen record and I'm going to just move this over and make it smaller and then you can see here this is using Loom. So I'm going to put the link in the comment section below of how you download uh, Loom. I also have it downloaded, you can see, uh, as a Chrome extension here. So these are all my extensions. I do recommend that you look up all the Chrome extensions to see what wonderful extensions there are. And you can then just screen record. I've downloaded the app onto my computer, the desktop app, so that I can actually then record anything on my desktop. And you can see, I'm just going to show you the different options for the photo. So I can make myself a little bit bigger here. And my favorite flowers are sunflowers. So that's why I surrounded myself by sunflowers. But if I open this up, you can see I can have different frames. That's a fun one. I'm going to stick to the sunflowers, but just so that you can see the different options, which I think just makes it more fun. I'm going to put the sunflowers on, back on. And so let me just go over and show you when you sign up for account, it's free. For educators, it's actually free for life. You just have to prove that you're an educator and um, you'll have a library. Now with the basic account, um, you basically have a five minute recording. And I find that if you're not an educator and you want to use Loom, you just restart the Loom, like it will automatically switch off after five minutes, but just like record another one and then that gets around the five minute limit. If you're an educator, then you have lifetime um, membership on the upgradable plan. I'll show you the different plans here, but it's free for all educators, so you don't have to worry. I'm gonna make myself smaller because I look a little bit big here. Um, so here you can see the business and then enterprise. And if you're an educator, all you have to do is let them know that you're an educator. And I'll just quickly show you what happens when you actually finish recording. You uh, go into your personal library here and you can clip this. You can actually edit the video, put some preferences here, create a uh, thumbnail, and then you can share the link so that people can go straight to the link on Loom or I'm going to be editing this footage. So if you click on the three dots, I'm able to download it. So I actually download them. I put them into Premiere Pro and then I edit the video. You can see that you can navigate actually on the Loom website to be able to trim the video, to create a, a thumbnail, to create a link as well so that you're not saving the videos on your hard drive. That's how I use Loom. Uh, Loom is a really powerful tool, I think, for screen recording. It's really easy to use as well. Thank you so much for joining me this week. I don't normally talk about technology tools, but I thought this one was a really useful one and many people have asked me what I use. So let me know how you got on with Loom. It's really easy to use, easy to download and free for educators. So no brainer really. And I hope to see you next time.